I'm Joe X, the Body Coach, and welcome back to the Body Coach TV. Today's session is a 15 minute workout. We've got five exercises to do. We're doing three rounds in total, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds rest. This is really gonna focus on our lower body, our thighs, glutes, hamstrings, really gonna fire up the legs, but taking it nice and slow and controlled, not too explosive or jumpy. It's just slow, controlled movements. The first one's nice and simple. It's gonna be a single leg. It's almost like a lunge, so feet together and you're gonna lunge back, but as you do, you're gonna twist and touch the ground. So I want you to activate your glutes and your outside of your thighs. So you're gonna bend down and twist like so, yeah? So it's gonna be touch, drive through that leg. You're sort of working the leg individually. So 30 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 30 second rest, and we're gonna move on to our next one. So right leg goes back, twist, and up. Good, so it's gonna just get you to rotate a little bit in that hip joint. And this is one of the exercises my physio's, physio's given me because I've had pain in my hip when I squat and lunge and by doing this rotation, it's really activating muscles in my glutes which is allowing me to rotate my hip better and get a better squat and lunge. So it's a great little move to do. So rest on that one. Same again. We're now gonna do, we'll be right leg. So it's a lunge, keep your balance, and then touching the ground and rotating as you come up. 30 seconds on that leg, then we're going to our next move. All right, how are we doing? Another four, so another eight seconds left. It does take a little bit more balance. Right, I'll face this way. Okay, so lunge, twist, twist. Touching those fingertips to the ground, just out to the side. Rotate. Good. Get right down. Last couple of reps. And well, that's good. You should really feel that right there in the glutes on the outside of the thigh. Next exercise is a nice simple squat. And what I've been learning to do is really, rather than just drop down, and then that's where my pain comes, I'm learning to twist and rotate my hips as I squat. So feet a little bit wider, come down into the squat, and really sort of fix those knees and drive, and imagine sort of rotating your hips in the sockets as you come up. So that's what we're gonna do, just squat and think about doing that. So squat, drive, strong knee, all the power through the foot, drive up. Good, we're just doing this for 30 seconds, so slow squats. And drive. Imagine you're creating space in your hip joints as you do it. See, that for me is allowing me to squat without the pain that I always feel. Just by really opening up and rotating my hips. Imagine you're sort of screwballing them in the joint up here. Because I used to just squat, just drop down like this, completely straight. I didn't allow my hips to rotate and that's where the pain was coming. So hopefully that's helping you out a little bit with your squat. Right, next exercise is a spider climb over twist. So we're gonna be in this position, squat, sorry not squat, we're gonna spider climb like this, and then twist and back. So foot up and twist. Okay, here we go, 30 seconds. So nice big step, feel that hip flexor in your groin, stretch and then twist. Swap and change. Because what I really want is you to be fit, but also to move properly and move one, you know, be injury free. It's so important that you get the movement patterns. Okay, three seconds. And relax, right. Next exercise, this is quite a tough one. We're basically gonna come up onto all fours, like this. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna be in this position, and we're just gonna go little walks, <clears throat> side to side. So it's gonna really wake up the body, but also gonna feel your quads on fire. We're going again in five seconds time. So lift up like this. <clears throat> Good, and just walk. Tiny little steps. <clears throat> steps. Walking to the side. You can go back if you want. 
forwards, or just side to side. Good. Oh, my shoulders are gone, but my quads are also burning up now. Come on. Last couple. Oh. Right, that's a good effort. Grab yourself a drink. We've done one round, exactly the same again. Two more rounds. Let's repeat these moves. So hopefully this is gonna really help you just get a bit more range of movement in your hip joints. I mean, even this, if you can't get there straight away, you might have your foot lower. One day, you'll be right there and you're really gonna have to get the stretch in that hip flexor and that little rotation. So, here we go, left leg. So right leg's back, twist and drive. Twist and drive. Really focus on that left leg, getting a little bit of rotation in that hip joint. So this is obviously a socket, and we're getting a bit of rotation as we go, as we lean across like that. And this will help stabilize your, your hips in a squat and a lunge when you go completely straight. Brilliant. Little rest, same again. So if you want to see it from the head on, it's basically leg back, so twist, twist in, all the way for 30 seconds. Right, another 10 second rest. And it's really going to start to incorporate some kind of functional moves that are going to allow your body to increase strength, but also mobility and functional range. Good, so, because the more and more of this I do, the better I'm going to be at doing squats and lunges and I can actually push through and, you know, put out more content. because so I've been held back by this injury, but these little moves are really helping. And I'm hoping if you have any injuries, you can learn from these moves and strengthen everything up. Right, keep going. Right, so yeah, back into the squat. So what I got used to doing is just really, really straight down squatting, just dropping into it with absolutely zero rotation in my hips. So what I imagine is my hips are in a socket as I squat down, I'm trying to rotate and that creates space and it's preventing this pain that I've been getting here. So, slow control squats, so slow, driving those knees out and off we go. So drive, twist, 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 twist. You've got to really like engage these muscles right in here in your hips and the glutes. It's amazing the difference that's made, made to my squat. That's it, visualize, rotating them, creating space. Drive. One more squat. so much better. I'm hoping that's, I've explained it, it's quite difficult to explain it, but hopefully that is helping a little bit. Okay, little drink. And we're now going to go in with our spider climber and the twist. So remember from here, we get a nice stretch in the hip flexor. And from there, you just rotate and swap. Getting a good little sweat on now, even though this is a low intensity one. Right, twist. Step and twist. Good, keep it going. 15 seconds. Nice big step. Twist around. Ooh. Come on. Last couple. Twist. Ah, and relax. Oh. Good little moves, you really, I can really feel it open up the hips. Okay, so the next exercise is going to be those funny little crawly ones, the bear crawl type of things. It's a different move, but it's, it's working a lot of muscles to stabilize and stay strong in that move. So remember, it's up, your knees stay quite close to the ground. There. Let's go, it's like we're just off the ground. Just gradually walking left to right, back and forwards. OK, 
Good. 15 seconds. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, shoulders. Right, come on. Keep your nado action you want. Just getting these off the ground. Ah. Oh. That's a tough little move. Right, that's two down. Third and final round now. Exactly the same moves. Hope you're enjoying this workout. It's slightly different to what we normally do, but this is my kind of warming my body up, getting me ready, and I'm gonna go and film another workout after this, a bit more intense. But this is just great, opening it up, getting my, my, my body moving correctly. Okay, here we go. So, right, so step back, touch the ground, and drive. Activate, twist, rotate. Great little exercise this one. Five seconds on the clock. And relax, brilliant. 30 second breather. Same thing on the right leg. We go back, feet together. Go back and across. Rotate. Yeah, and we don't want to try and, you know, we want to stabilize this. So strong foot into the ground. Avoid that knee wobbling. Create a strong fixed point and drive out of it. Right, we're going in five seconds time. Okay, let's go. Twist and drive. Twist and drive. It's all in that right leg. Twist and drive. Good, nice few, last few reps. And relax, brilliant. Right, so we're now going to go into the squats again. And what you want to do is get a good foot, foot position, nice straight back. And what's nice is you can keep the angle of your shins the same as the angle of your back. So you don't want to sort of come, you know, lean in, try and keep this angle almost identical to your shin. So we come down, and then we come up. Good. Squat, get that rotation, and drive up. So control it, drive the knees out, rotate the hips. So imagine you're twisting, you're rotating, getting some rotation inside the joint there. Create so much more space. That's a revelation for me, that is, because I've been squatting in pain for every video I've done for the past three years, I've been in pain when I squat. So that one little movement pattern is, is definitely helping. It's really, really helped me. Right, next one spider climb with a twist. So, last two moves of the workout spider climb with a twist, and then the little bear crawls, and we're done. Let's go. Okay, so step, feel the stretch in that groin, and then twist and alternate. It's a great little move for getting some good rotation in the shoulder and the chest as well up here. Really opening up the chest. Twist and relax. Come on. Twist and relax. Last one, twist. So you'll feel that stretch in there, but also there. So it's just a good little hip opener. Okay, 20 seconds to go on the rest. Then it's the final set of the little bear crawls. And remember, you're not right up here like this. You're super low. Your knees are right almost by the ground, look. And you can go forward, back, left and right. Nice control, slow movement. Okay, I'll do this one head on, so it's just a little movement there, little movement there, you can go forward a little bit, backwards, just staying 
in that low position. Come on, last five seconds, stay up. Oh, tell you what, I felt that a lot in the quads because we kind of pre exhausted with the squats. Um, but also in the upper body, it's a great little move. So I hope you enjoyed that workout. I've got so much more to offer on this channel. And now I'm hopefully gonna really, really improve this hip and fix this problem. I'll be able to put up more videos. I'd love to do more than one a week. So it's been one a week so far, but let's keep working together, let's get fit, and I'll keep pumping up more workouts for you. So have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time for another workout on the Body Coach TV.